Miami and App State. Miami gets the win 25-23, to 23, but it, it was not for lack of trying to let App State win this ball game. <laughs> this, was, this was a close game, and, and I besmirched the name of, God, I just went blank, uh, Chase Bryce, the... I think that's his name, right? The App State quarterback that was at Duke last year. Oh, that yeah, yeah. In that went, that tra- God, yeah. I, I talked so much trash about him because he led he led the country in turnovers last year. I mean, he was awful at Duke. And I thought, man, if you if David Cutcliffe can't get this kid to play well, well what is Sean Clark? You, you said the right name, though. I think Cutcliffe is. He's, yeah, cut. Uh, now, they, they got a win over NCA and t this week. But, uh, look, App State looked good. Looked good in the trenches. I don't I, – I may – not may have. I vastly overrated Miami in the preseason, and I, and you told me not to, and I didn't listen, and I apologize for that to everybody. No. But I got, I got to ask a question: What kind of for a team and a school that actually there are people that real use real voodoo down in Baton Rouge? What kind of weird ass voodoo does every time Alabama plays a big ranked team preseason? That team is – they have the worst year they've ever had in 10 years. I have no idea. How do you, how do, you do that? I don't know. I don't know. You remember they played, like, number eight Michigan back eight, nine yes, years ago, and whatever. Michigan, and Michigan lost, like, seven games that year. You yes. play Florida State. Florida State was ranked, like, three in the country, and Florida State lost, like, five games well, that year and were trash. Hold on, hold on. Florida State lost their starting quarterback to an injury. It doesn't that matter. That team was I bad, Gary. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. They were I, bad on defense. They are bad on the offensive line. They were overrated everywhere on the field. How in the hell do you do this? Miami, by the way, in this game, won the field position battle by an average of 14 yards per drive. Uh, Congratulations. A App State was a, their post game win expectancy 76% of the time with the stats that were put up in this game. Does App State win the game? 76% yeah. of the time. I thought App State was going to win the game. Uh, Miami had eight scoring opportunities, only put up 23 points in those eight scoring opportunities. That's 2.88 per scoring opportunity. App State only had three scoring opportunities and put up 17 points. So they took advantage when they were able to get down there. But man, like Derek King doesn't look good. Uh, no, nobody for Miami really looks good. Like I just, I, I can't figure any of this stuff out. Uh, overall success rate here, App State 45% to 42%. But they, like App State should have won this ball game. Absolutely yeah. should have won the ball game. And listen, all I, want, all I want to do is use this game to shit on Alabama. Okay. You you guys yeah. line up the schools of the deaf, blind, and dumb. That's it. You shouldn't be number one in the country. You're gonna you're going to at some point in time bring up a stat that y'all were number one in the country like 87 weeks in a row, and nobody in the world has ever been that. And you know what? That's bullshit. You didn't earn it. You haven't deserved it. You might be the best team in the country, but we don't know that because of how you've played. All right, Agreed. because you played two awful teams, and you got schools like Georgia and and Vatek and and Iowa and these other schools that yeah they're not as good as Alabama. Doesn't matter. They have a better resume. This is the only sport in the world where we don't care about what you've actually done. We care about who you actually are, and yeah. that that pisses me off. So I took a couple of shots at you last night for that. It's all good. I understand that, and that's that's perfectly fine. But yes, Miami should not have won this ball game, and now Miami gets to deal with a. Much improved looking Michigan State team next week. Uh, I think they're going to get beat by Michigan State next week. I think it's entirely possible. They're going to that game's at that that game's at Michigan. Right? No, I think it's actually in Miami. Jesus, they don't have to leave the Mason Dixon line the whole year. I think I think it's it's one they get Atlanta and then two two home games. Hold on, I will double check this for Who you they right blow quick. To get that. Sk- but yeah, I, I think uh, I mean they played in Georgia and then they play App State at home and then I think that they've got yeah no it's it's against Michigan State. At home, 11 a.m. in Miami. 11 a.m. Central Time game in Miami. So, All right. Well, they might not win that game because Michigan State will have to be coming down into the mugginess of the South in the summertime. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.